Hi Capricorn. This reading, this tarot scope is for any sun, moon, rising, or Venus in Capricorn. And I'm just connecting and asking my angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light to contact and communicate with Capricorn collectives, angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light, because we don't want to talk to anybody else. And I'm wanting to know the energy of the month for June 2020 for Capricorn. Anything it is that I need to let Capricorn know for their highest and their greatest good, their most benevolent outcomes for June 2020. So what is your energy, Capricorn, for June 2020? Let's take a look. So... First thing that I'm noticing is the big picture. And the big picture is talking about, you know, in all of these readings that I've done for June, the big picture is the thing that's been sticking out or shining bright, the very first thing that I'm seeing, but that's not usually the case. But it's interesting to me that everyone's big picture, seeing things from the bird's eye view is important for June. So big picture Capricorn is cutting things away that no longer serve you. It's also looking at things that seem like they could have been defeat or they felt like defeat are no longer feeling that way. It's feeling like not like a total win or a total victory, but it feels like things have been cut away that are not helping you or being useful to you in your life moving forward and that in itself feels like the victory your advice card is talking about complete blow you out of the water change it's like you might be walking in one direction and your advice is like stop shift and totally switch directions so let's see what else is going on for the month with that type of advice so there is your higher self is talking about and feelings of those types of feelings, like little kid feelings and very possibly not being able to put words to your emotions or words to your feelings, or you're just not ready to talk about them yet. But it's like, I've had some aggravating, upsetting, hurt my feelings, I'm experiencing anger rather than experiencing the hurt that's below the anger. It's that type of thing. And that feels like it's in the past though, but it feels like you're dealing with those because you have been feeling those feelings. And then your higher guides and angels are talking about, ooh, this one wants to pop out there. Actually, both of these do. Your higher guides and angels are talking about rediscovering a new foundation. So it's very possible that I'm pissy because I couldn't get the victory that I wanted, but I'm cutting some things away. I'm looking at things in a new way, in a new direction. I'm walking in a new direction with that advice. And so a new foundation is being built. And I have a lot more faith in myself, faith in my surroundings, and faith in my own resources to be able to move forward. There's something also too about move forward, but staying put. So moving forward in the same kind of parameters that you've been in, I've, it seems like cutting away things that you've been thinking about. You're thinking about things differently. So you've cut away old ideas about a situation and you're thinking about them differently and you have renewed faith in your resources about your situation. So coming from a place of feeling depleted, like your energy and resources have been drained, and then moving into a place in June, Capricorn, where you are not only the expert at what you're doing, you know exactly uh, what's expected of you, you know exactly what to do, but there is, again, reinforced inspiration. Reinforced inspiration happening now and into the near future, you're starting to heal from the things that you had to cut away. And it's even, I'm releasing something that 
I felt was on pause or I felt I was on hold, I'm releasing that and I'm starting fresh, I'm starting new and I'm moving forward. It also looks like there's some kind of, I wanna say reconciliation, but also there's some kind of um, spiritual union coming together. This can be in a relationship. It can also be a spiritual union as in you have found the, something that makes you really happy. You have found something that brings spirit out in you. That whole higher self living through personality self, shining through personality self. This does also look like a reinvention of self. Past, present, future. I was looking at things in a very particular way in the past. This is the way it is. There, it can't be in a different way. This is how this works. To, huh, I've shifted that line of thinking. I've actually even separated from a certain part of myself that had that line of thinking. And I'm feeling more collaborative with the universe and manifestation. I'm feeling more together within myself spiritually. There's also resistance in, and I feel like this has a lot to do with just what's going on in the world right now. There's resistance to um, getting out into groups again, which that could be fine. There's still resistance to it. So there's still this energy of going inward, staying homebound or staying home or staying in your square what else is going on here? This is about having a new perspective about staying home and staying in your square and staying inward. What can you do inward? What is your higher self wanting to say about that? Right. I'm looking at things in a new perspective. I'm looking at things in a new way. Still, I've had this new, it's kind of like an epiphany happened. Your advice was even like, look at your epiphany. What is it that you've been wanting to do or what is it that has come up for you during this time of sequestering that has been the purpose of why you chose this path and you chose this life to be in this place at this time? So there's still energy of looking at things differently, looking at different perspectives, but the epiphany has happened. You've already stepped through the threshold of this and now it's just going to, what I'm hearing is snowball forward. So you may have had an epiphany already, you may have changed this line of thinking and completely shifted your perspective and you're going in a different direction, maybe even on a different path or the same path, but more centered, more aligned, more connected. Your truth is aligned with it. The, it's, it's being more lit up for you or you're seeing it, but there's more to even see. I like that Capricorn, let's see. So angels and guides are talking about self-sabotage. What about self-sabotage? Oh, know that you can do this yourself. You would be self-sabotaging if you thought you can't do this without the help of someone else. This is your time to shine, Capricorn. It's your time to light it up. Light it up. Yeah. And this is about having more than one project or more having more than one thing going back and forth. So this is some kind of streamline of energy that's coming toward you and helping you to move forward into the future with this new line of thinking. I'm gonna look more about the trajectory. This is again about doing things your own way, not following the rules, not following the rules that you used to keep for yourself, doing things differently, but also not following other people's rules. This is uh, moving to the beat of your own drum and coming together and finding something. Mm. I'm hearing it's captivating Capricorn, captivating. That's wonderful. Yep, and it's a decision that you make or it's a decision that you've made. It's, uh, it seems like there's a decision that you've made already, but then there's a decision coming forward too. Um, and this also has to do with how do I take on more responsibility and what kind of responsibility and burden do I want to take on? Am I taking some things on because I'm marketing and I need to like get get some things popping or am I taking on too much stuff and I'm not going to be able to balance all of it. There are decisions based on taking on responsibility. It can have to do with these endeavors, these new endeavors that you're doing. And 
let's get some advice on that. Right. You don't have to rush into anything. You can just let these epiphanies and let these new ideas unfold and just start writing some things down. I even can see you like taking notes or writing a list or just brainstorming or journaling, brainstorming about, oh, it could be like this. It could be like this. It could be like this. And the reason why that process is happening is because you don't have all of the information yet. There's more to come. There's more that is yet to be displayed in front of you. What is this? Yeah, there's more manifesting to be done. Wow, and there's more of a foundation to be had, but this is also some kind of an offer and it's a monetary offer. So this could be how you decide to monetize these projects or it could literally be an offer from someone else who wants to give you money for this wonderful work that you're doing. I like that. Your advice is talking about being consistent with this, not moving in and out of it. Like, oh, I could do this. Yeah, I just never got around to it. It's like, this is about being diligent and persistent with this, knowing that the universe is channeling through you and channeling to you these things, these epiphanies that are waiting for you. I like this. Let me see, happening into the near and now, happening now and into the near future. Again, there are still some things, that's why this is gonna be not a process so much as it is an unfolding, but there's still some stuff to be dismantled. There's still some stuff to be unpacked, some releasing to be done. And when I say that, I'm feeling your throat chakra. So this is about speaking your truth. What is it that I wanna do? What is it that is calling to me? that I'm wanting to pursue for myself because I haven't done it in this way before or I haven't done this for myself yet. This is about releasing things that no longer serve you. This could be ideas. Hmm. And there's something having to do with a thought process. It's releasing an old thought process and inviting a new thought process in. A new way of believing, a new way of being, a new way of holding space. And your higher self is talking about you being a healer and helping other people heal. Helping other people heal, whether this is through your process or whether this is the new things that you are doing or helping other people to heal. Your angels and guides are talking about cultivating this experience, cultivating your resources, also not having worrisome thoughts about how it's going to untangle and unfold just nurture it and allow it to become what it becomes so it's going to evolve yep and any kind of this is releasing any kind of disregard releasing any kind of disappointment that's happened in the past it's releasing all of that and looking at this in a fresh new way looking at it as if the things in the past did what they needed to do and now the things in the future are open and my heart is open to receive those, those things too, those light downloads that you need for this new creation. Wow, Capricorn, I love your energy this month. I think this is one of the most creative and wonderful readings for the month. So, um, Thank you. I'm looking forward to your reading next month. I feel like I want to pull one more card for your near and now future. Wow, the Ace of Cups. So this is emotional, complete emotional fulfillment, new projects, and they're not just projects, they're projects that you absolutely adore. You absolutely love them. And I love it. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful June 20, 2020. And uh, I'll see you next month.